In this video, I'll be showing you how to send AI-generated promotional emails using the Mailgun function block. Let's get started. Before we set up our Mailgun block, we'll have to configure a couple of things. First, we'll need to set up our inputs. These will be used to collect information about the email we'll want to write and who we'll be sending the email to. To add our inputs, tap the plus icon on the automation canvas, then select User Inputs. In the configuration on the right, tap the plus to add your inputs. For this demo, I've already created some inputs. I have an input to collect what the email should be about, an input to add the emails we'd like to send the message to, and an input to add the subject line. Now I'll quickly highlight these inputs and import them in. Next, we'll create a send message that will instruct the AI to craft the email we're going to send. Again, we'll tap the plus icon on the automation canvas, and then this time select send message. Then I'll quickly paste the message into the text box on the right. The message says to write an email about the following. Then I've included the variable that corresponds to the input that collects what our email should be about. I've also included additional instructions to add a greeting and a sign off, but feel free to customize it in any way that you'd like. Next, under message processing, we'll change the dropdown from display to user to assign to variable, and we'll call this variable email. Last thing we'll need to add is our mailgun function block. To do this, we're going to add a block titled run function. Then we'll go to browse community functions and scroll the functions list, select the mailgun block, and then tap import. In the configuration on the right, you'll notice a number of fields we'll have to fill out in order for this function to run properly. First, we'll need to grab our mailgun API key and our mailgun domain. To do this, Let's head over to Mailgun. To first locate the API key, navigate to the Account Settings menu in the top right and then select API Security. Next, tap on Create API Key. Give it a name. In this case, we'll call it Mind Studio App and then tap Create Key. Once the key has been generated, copy it to your clipboard and then back in Mind Studio, we can paste it in. Now let's grab our Mailgun domain. Back on the home page of your Mailgun account, you can find your domain under the Send Domains tab. For this demo, I'll be using the default domain, but feel free to use any verified domain you have connected to your Mailgun account. Just copy the domain, then paste it into the space provided in Mind Studio. Now we need to fill out the rest of the fields. First, we'll need the email address the message will be coming from, which I will quickly paste in. Then we'll need the email or emails that the message is being sent to. In this case, we've created an input that collects that information, so we'll just need to add our variable surrounded by double braces. We can do the same with the subject field, since we've collected the subject line as an input as well. Last, we can use the variable we've created from the send message block, which we've called email. This will be the email created by the AI that will be sent. Now that our app has been configured, Let's see if it works. First, we'll tell the AI that we've created a 30% off promotion for our new yoga product that will come with a one year subscription free of charge. Next, we'll just add in the email we wanna send the message to, and then we'll add our subject line. Then tap next. Looks like it went through. You can see on the right that the AI was able to construct an email based off the information we've provided. And here's the email that's been sent to us. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.